Hey everyone and welcome to another MuleSoft tutorial on YouTube channel of Tutorialspedia.com. Today in this tutorial I will explain step by step how we can consume a SOAP web service using MuleSoft. In one of the previous uh, video tutorial I explained step by step how we can create and implement a SOAP web service using MuleSoft. I will put the description uh, link in the description box so that you are able to uh, go through with that video as well. Before I proceed, I will request you to please subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed to the channel before so that you are able to get latest videos from the channel as and when they are uploaded. Alright, without further ado, uh, I will just quickly jump into the implementation part. I have already opened uh, MuleSoft Anypoint Studio where I will create a new project and we will start implementing our uh, message flow to consume a SOAP web service. So for that, first we need to create a project. So I'll go to File new and I will choose mule project we need to give a name to our project let's name it like uh, soap service consumer tutorial uh, nothing else we just click on the finish button and once we click on the finish button then our project gets uh, created in our uh, workspace it uh, downloads uh, the related dependencies which are specified in pom.xml file as you can see and then we will see that uh, uh, under the package explorer our project will get created okay so uh, once we have the package uh, project created under the package explorer before i create the message flow let's uh, talk about the use case or the scenario that we are going to implement for the sake of sim simplicity of this uh, tutorial i will take a very simple case where uh, i will uh, utilize one of the publicly available online soap web service a calculator web service and I will implement a message flow to consume one of the operations from that calculator web service. This calculator web service is available here on this link. As you can see, www.dneonline.com slash calculator.asmx question mark wisdom. So this is the wisdom that I will use and uh, we will implement our message flow to consume the add operation from this uh, service. This service has multiple operations other than add. It has uh, subtract, multiply, and divide as well. But uh, uh, in for this tutorial, I will not implement uh, the consumers or the clients for all of the operations. Rather, we will just uh, implement one operation to explain how we can work with the message flows uh, with the consumers. Okay, so uh, for, the, for the implementation of this message flow, what I will do is that I will use a HTTP uh, listener because I want to receive the request in the form of a HTTP request with the message payload in a JSON format in the post body. So I will just drag this uh, listener into the message flow. And now we need to configure this listener because uh, listener will uh, rely on the provided information for the connector configuration. So just click on this plus button and, uh, in front of the connector configuration. And we need to specify the host and port that we want to uh, use for this connector. Let's keep the default host, but for the port, uh, I would like to make it 9095. And then you can use this test connection option if you want to verify that this uh, uh, host and port that we provided is valid and available. And for me, I know it's already available, so I will just click on OK button. And here in the path, we need to specify the path for our uh, service. I will use slash and then I will use a, a UI parameter. I will use a URI parameter with the name action because what I want to do is that I want to uh, use a choice uh, router in my message flow and depending on the value of this action URI parameter, I want to uh, 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 pass the uh, request to different flows. For example, if it's add, I will call the consume web service uh, with the add operation and uh, if it's anything other than add, I will just go to a default flow and I will raise an error. Of course, when you will be implementing other operations of the web service, you can uh, use uh, multiple when uh, conditions and uh, you can uh, consume different web services or you can different actions based on the provided action. All right, so once we have configured this uh, listener, I just saved it. And the next thing that I want to do is that I want to save the action value that will be passed as a URI parameter into a uh, variable. So I will use this set variable from the core module and drop it to the message flow. Here I need to specify the name of the variable. Let's name it same as uh, the URI parameter. You can name it anything. I will name it as action. 
and for the value i will i want to switch to expression mode and then i will uh, extract the value from the attributes using attributes dot uri parameter dot name of the parameter the name of the parameter that will be passed by the user is action so i will just uh, access it and save it to the action variable okay so once we have uh, our listener configured we have uh, used the set variable to save the uh, uri parameter the next thing that we want to do is that we want to use a choice router because we will take different actions based on the value so let me drag this choice to the message flow and now it has a when and a default block so for the when i will just click on this when and i'll update the expression so what is the condition under which this block should uh, execute that's what i need to configure here so i will choose that whenever variable action wars that action equals add then i want to uh, let uh, mule execute this uh, particular module so now i need to drag the consumer a web service consumer here within this so i will drag it here and this consume needs to be configured by specifying the Uh, web service that we want to consume whenever this condition is met so for the connector configuration click on this plus button and here you need to specify the visdel visdel location if you have uh, your visdel saved locally you can specify the local path but if you want to access in online visdel you can do that as well for me since my visdel that i want to uh, consume using this consumer is available online so i will just paste the url here you can see i pasted www.dneonline.com/calculator.asmx question mark visdel so based on this uh, visdel location it has automatically populated the service as well as port so i will choose the port because it has two ports and you can see that address has also been populated automatically so now we are done with the configuration of our uh, connector over consumer and we will just click on okay okay so once we have configured it we need to now choose the operation that we want to call here you can see we have all the operations available so we want to uh, access the add operation so we will click on add once this is done i need to uh, switch back to this uh, listener because i need to make a couple of changes here what i want to do is that i want to accept mime type only json because i want that user should be able to pass me request in the form of a json so i will choose from here mime type application slash json and also in the advanced tab i want to allow user to post only there i don't want user to uh, pass any data to this web service using get operation i only want to uh, allow him to pass me a json using post so these are the two more configuration that i have done for the listener and then we proceed back to this consumer and before i call this consumer i want to uh, use this transform message and this transform message will be used to uh, specify what kind of data we are going to pass it as an input so i just use this transform message and you can see that here uh, it has automatically populated the object because this web service the online web service expects two parameters in int a and int b and it will return me the result in the form of a number which will be the sum of these two so i will just double click on this and now you can see that all these elements have been added here so i need to pass values to these so i need to specify the value of int a and int b based on the payload that i will be receiving so the payload that i will be passing in will be in this format in the json format value 1 and value 2 and the value can be anything i will be able to make it anything so i want to specify the parameters accordingly so i will use here payload sorry not the capital payload dot var1 swar1 or value1 value1 so i will use payload dot value1 
and for the int b i will use payload dot value 2 so by this way whatever will be the json values uh, in the value 1 and value 2 those values will be uh, transformed using this transform message and then this is the input that will be passed to the web service okay so once we have done this what we want to do do is that now in the second case which is the default case we just want to raise an error so i will choose raise error uh, from the core module and just put it here for this raise error i need to specify the type and description so the type will be custom colon you can give it any name uh, invalid operation and description I can specify as operation not supported currently. So if user wants to pass me anything other than add, I want to return this error. All right. Now what we need to do is that we want to uh, transform the response message as well. We don't want to pass the response message as default. Rather, we want to pass the response in some specific format. For that, what I will do is that I will use this transform message again after consuming the web service here in this transform message i need to define a metadata and accordingly i will uh, populate the response so to define the metadata i will use this option define metadata and i will click on add button and name it as a response metadata just click on this create type and uh, once it has been created it's taking a bit of time let it get created then i will specify it its format uh, studio is a bit slower in my machine apologies for that so here in the type i will choose xml because the response i want to return in the form of xml so what type of xml you want to transfer here in the schema you have two options you can either specify the schema xml schema or you can give an xml and it will create the schema itself so i do have an xml already example cre created so i will use this xm example option and here i will click on this and choose the xml that i want to give so this sample response i have already created let me show you this sample response will be result object containing two elements operation which is a string and result value which is a string so what i want to do is that whenever someone will call my operation in the response i will not only pass the result value but also the operation name what type of operation was called by the user of course in the current scenario where we are allowing user to only have add operation it doesn't make much sense but just to uh, explain you how things can be uh, done in new uh, soft anypoint studio i'm just putting it as an edit thing so I'll just click on select and once i have done this it's now resolving metadata as you can see here uh, in the bottom so it will take a bit of time to resolve this and once it has been resolved we can just click double click on this and add these values now for the operation what i want i want to pass whatever is the uh, variable value so wars dot action and result value i want from payload because now payload will be containing the response payload dot body dot add response dot add result so this will contain the response that we have received from the consumer so in this way now we have implemented over uh, message flow in such a way that whenever user will pass us two values two integer values we will be calling this calculators add operation from our online web service and then the response we will be manipulating and we will creating our custom uh, response based based on the metadata that we have provided and accordingly the response will be sent back to the user in the xml format okay so once we are done with this we can start running it and we will see how it goes so just run this and it says do you want to save yes of course i want to save then i need to run postman so once this uh, uh, 
this uh, solution will be running, you will see the status in the console as deployed. And once it will be deployed, we will be able to call it from the consumer. It's right now uh, loading into the new runtime. Uh, it will take uh, maybe a couple of minutes or so. And uh, in the meanwhile, uh, I'm also opening the Postman, which will be the client. You can use any client to call this web service as this is HTTP based web service. So any client will work for you. Still loading. So uh, as an added thing, what you can do is that after watching this uh, tutorial, you can uh, extend this tutorial by adding other operations. Maybe you can implement uh, multiply and uh, maybe you can implement uh, any of the other operation which is available in the same visdl or you can even use another visdl that's up to you and uh, you will see that it's quite convenient and easy uh, to implement uh, any message flow in the uh, mule soft uh, any point studio to consume the soap web services okay i have also opened this uh, postman let me just verify if it has been uh, deployed or not still it's deploying you can see sometimes it takes time in the mule runtime but nevertheless it will so here in the client side i need to change it to post the url will be http localhost 9095 add because i want to do the add operation and in the body i will be passing xml data here so let me copy the source request json not xml it's a json so i will just paste it here so value 1 is 9 value 2 is 0 so i'm expecting a response in the xml format let me change it 9 and uh, 6 because i want to receive a response as 15 just to show you okay so now you can see the deployment deployment status it is deployed successfully so now we should call when if we call this service we we should receive a response in the required format so i just call this web service by clicking on this submit button and uh, i'm waiting for a response i have received a response with status 200 and yeah congratulations we have successfully consumed the web service and the response is Result value is 15 and operation is add. If we pass any different value, uh, like uh, value 19 and value 260, then we should receive 69 in the response. Correct, we have received 69. If we try any other operation other than add, we should receive an error. Like if I try multiply and click on the send button, I should receive an error. And yes, we received the response stating that operation not supported currently. So that's it for today and uh, I'm quite uh, hopeful that this uh, video was helpful for you and you understand the things and I tried to explain it in a simpler format, didn't use much of the complex things and uh, I will try to put more videos in future with more advanced topics. So stay in touch and don't forget to subscribe the channel and, uh, and do comment in the comments section if you have anything to ask or if you have any inputs to add on. Thank you and have a great day.